on. Hey, welcome back to Hannah Hart Tech Support. So first, you um, the first part of opening up your laptop is unscrewing every part of your laptop that you can see a screw for. So do that. Like so. Come on. I'm using an eyeglass screwdriver. I'm coming out. I want the world to know that I am a screw. Yeah. Screws. Come on, buddy. Dude, come on. Let's get rid of you. There. I'm naked. No, you're not. You like it. Here we go. So we've uh, taken out... Because I know a lot of you guys are actually using this to change the RAM in your computers. This is a legitimate, legitimate video. <whistles> bling, 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 bling. Ooh, get paranoid briefly and make sure your laptop's off. Are you off? Hello? Yes. Good. Great. So, you... Oh. Don't worry. This is not a sign of things to come. You guys there? Yay! We're all here together. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Shirt! Scandalous. So take off the top of your laptop. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. What is that? Ew! It's so dirty! That is disgusting. Okay, necessary component over here. Here's a tip. Touch a piece of metal so you don't shock yourself or you get rid of any shock before actually touching circuitry. Here you go. Da! Nothing. Good. Okay. Don't blow your screws away because then it'd be... Right? Screwed. Hi. Okay. I really, really want to clean this. Oh. I wish I could... I wish I had another device... So I can show you guys how this thing is being propped up. I have my hard drive at an angle against the lamp. As you can tell, it's not working very well. You might be thinking, Hannah, shouldn't you remove the other RAM first and ensure that you actually know what it is slash what you're doing? And if you're thinking that, I want to ask you something. What are your expectations of me? Because this is really just happening, you know? Like, I didn't intend for things to go this way, but it's just the way it is. So, wedge it open. Ah, now you have your RAM. Okay, put your scissors back because you're a good roommate. I feel like this is the RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that it is because they look pretty much alike. You know what? It's really funny. I just had the thought about when you're watching these like tech type videos online and you're like, God, why couldn't this person just like get a better angle or better sound or any of that. And now I realize why. And that is because people are truly lazy. I found a screw. It was trying to get away. So put it back. Okay, continue your project. Great, so I'm gonna remove the RAM um, simply by looking at it and trying to figure out how it's in there. Ooh, I wanna clean this so bad. Bite it, Hannah. It's like cat hair in here. I don't even have a cat. So if you look at these two contraptions right there and there, I guess that what you do is you pop them out and then this thing popped up. Could you hear that? Hope so. So I pulled these two this way and then it popped up like that. Now I'm going to remove it by pulling it out like this. Bling, bling. So, did we guess correctly? Do these two things look alike? Yes, they do. One's green, one's blue. Green must mean go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More ram. Oh, man. I'm less ram. That's okay. I'm a ham. Really, don't you like spam? We love to live in a can. Because that's all this is. It's a magical aluminum box of, of computer internet wonder. Great. So, install your ram by taking the new ram out. Don't touch the gold part. Wow, new RAM. And we're just gonna slip it inside. Okay, I don't wanna mess this part up. Down, down and in. Down. Oh, 
hard though. Nope. Down and in. Nope. Down and in. Ooh, maybe. This seems pretty good. Okay. One piece installed. Uh, what I did is I slipped it in and pressed it down um, to ensure that I was ramming my computer properly. This fell out of somewhere. Um, it's like a squishy pad. I hope it doesn't mean anything. Woo! I'm really glad we can spend time together like this, you know? I mean, it's like we're doing normal domestic things. You know, we're just hanging out, putting RAM in a computer. So I wanna be, oh! So I wanna be able to show you guys as I put this, slide this up into there, but um, I also don't wanna jeopardize. What are you doing? Every time my phone falls flat on its face like that, I imagine mentally my phone is doing this. So let's finish installing this RAM and turn this shit on. Okay, so we're just gonna slide it in at an angle. You gotta slide it in at an angle to find the G spot of your laptop cause this whole video is an allegory for sex because I'm not having any and I went to the gym twice today. Oops, this one's stuck a little. That's cool, don't freak out. Ooh, okay. So, when in doubt, back up and start from the top. Cause nothing says everything's fine like double backing and not talking about it. Oh, yes, how can you go in? Nine times out of 10, if I'm talking a lot quickly, that means I think things are going well. I'm not talking much at all. That means I am suddenly and explicably filled with doubt. Worst case scenario, I fuck up my one source of gainful employment. Okay. Use your eyes as a tool of curiosity. And use your brain, use your brain. That's really like the message of this. Just use your brain, guys. Ah, ah, oh. How easy was that? Tray easy. Play your laptop like a flute. Do you like that laptop? Do you like to be played as if you were a flute? I believe you do. Okay. Do we do uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are we married, guys? This is what it'd be like to be married to me. And I'm like, what are you doing, honey? I'd be like, why did I marry someone with such a terrible voice? And I'd be like, nothing, dear. Just screwing in my laptop. Whoa. I definitely ended up with one extra screw. Let's hope it worked. I'm pushing the button now. Regular whirring sounds. No popping noises. This magic moment. Well, I wait to see if I killed you is kind of terrible. Because I don't know what I would do if I broke my laptop. I would be so sad because my laptop is the best friend I ever had. It is so awesome. Are you working? <sighs> okay, let's talk about something to distract us from imminent. You know what, I really think it's, I'm pretty sure I did it right, so. This is, this like frozen screen of doom is just, that's just a silly billy. Please work. Maybe it just needs a long, long while. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna pause this for now and use my phone to talk to the internet. Boop. Okay guys, so here's what happened. Um, basically, it wasn't booting with the two four gigabyte memory sticks, 
so I wanted to troubleshoot a little bit and figure out which of the memory sticks was faulty, if that were to even be the case. So I took out the top one and replaced it with one of the previous two gigabyte memory sticks. So the combination uh, worked and I was able to have six gigabytes of RAM, which is two plus from my prior four. Okay, in summation, blue plus green equals six gigabytes equals working. Then why doesn't green plus green equal eight gigabytes equals working? So I found that to be upsetting because I think it means that my RAM is simply faulty and not compatible, compatible with itself. So I'm gonna return it because I like to save my money. And I also like having freaking eight gigabytes of RAM. That's what I want. Hell, maybe I'll get 16 gigs. I don't know. <laughs> Memory slot's currently in use. Can you see? Is that reversed for you? Anyway, so that's it for today on Hannah Hart Tech Talk. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it because it's unlikely to ever happen again. But don't mark my words. You know, check in a book. Reading Rainbow. Yep. Okay, bye!